Good morning, and thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning. I was at the chiropractor and streaming across the monitor with some statistics on your heart, and I found it quite interesting. The average person's heart beats about 60 to 100 times per minute. A well-trained athlete's heart beats about 40 times per minute. That means the average person, whether in fit or not, averages about 3,600 to 6,000 beats per hour. Scaling it down to the average 70-year-old, his, his or her heart will beat 2.5 billion times in a lifetime. So your heart is continuously beating to pump the blood into your circulatory system which averages about 2,000 gallons of blood being pumped per day. As I'm reading these statistics, I'm thinking, wow, your heart is all about persistence. It's beating and beating and beating to pump the blood through your system to create the oxygen so we can have the stamina to show up and accomplish our goals and dreams and go after it. So you always hear the, the phrase, if you love what you do, it's not work. Now I'm fortunate I really love what I do. I have the privilege, honor, and pleasure of coaching business owners to get more in their life, more in their business, more of the team, more out of their organization, and I get paid for it. It's a win-win. They're growing, I'm growing, everybody wins. So how do you put your heart into your business that it's not a job and you end up loving what you do. First of all, Simon Sneck wrote a great book called Find Your Why. You also could Google it on YouTube and it's a great five minute little video. It's all about number one is finding your purpose and finding your why. Why do you show up each and every day? What is your organization all about? What gives you the drive and the enthusiasm and the stamina to press on each and every day to be your best? So when you get clear on your why, the how will show up. Number two, take care of your team. Don't make it all about you. The cycle of a business, the owner's job is to take care of the team. The team takes care of the customer. The customer takes care of the business and the business takes care of the owner. That's why we got into business in the first place. So we can create a vehicle that takes care of us. As you really take care of your team, they will show up to represent your brand with pride and they will take care of your customers and the wheel will keep on turning and everybody will happy, be happy and you will be fulfilled. Number three, make it about being your absolute best. Understand is that your business is a direct reflection of you. I was telling my son one day, I said, you know, Zach, I only have one job and that's to make sure I am at my absolute best each and every day because as I show up as my best each and every day, everything else takes care of itself. And when you're at your best, things are happening. Number four, give back, pay it forward. Most successful people haven't got there by accident. They had mentors along the way. And now that they're successful, they remember where they came from and they want to pay it forward. So as you become successful, find somebody to be a protege that you can mentor up and you can coach up and you can help them be more successful and also give back. And number five, and most importantly, have fun. I say when you're having fun, you're in the zone. And when you're in the zone, you're cashing checks. And I don't care what type of business you're in, we're in the business to cash checks, take credit cards, and take cash too. So think about your heart persistently beating each and every second and minute to pump the blood and the oxygen to you so you can have the stamina to show up at your best each and every day. So if your heart, that organ, is that persistent to keep you going, you should put your heart in your business, show up at your best, and make a difference in your organization, your team, your community, and this world. I hope this has been valuable. I want to wish you a productive and profitable week. 
Thank you for joining me, Coach Mike, on your Monday morning, and I will see you next Monday.